Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Today we're checking out Burial Brewing Company's Hawkbill IPA. Right, so the Hawkbill is a double dry hopped IPA. It's 6% uh, six, six 55 IBU. Illustration on this cool can is by David Paul Seymour. He must, maybe he's a local artist guy? They all have the sickest artwork, like, there's two, actually I just realized there's two different uh, artworks on it. And, they all have this crazy text on the side of the can. This one reads, This universe ends somewhere. Beyond the garish glam of today's shiny baubles lies a disjointed, rather chaotic world of the mind's creation. Governing the bounds of this visual exploration, there are no laws or rules, just imagination. Here reside the amalgamated bastards of thought, the tattered remains of contempt, and the evocative burst of pure bliss. Met with the confines of reality, we ascend this world receptacle, this worthy receptacle, Theorize of Pilsner, Oats, Rye, and a blend of six otherworldly hops, this IPA is dry hopped twice and fermented on our house yeast. Made to quell the innermost fears, derived from our most outward desires. That's a lot of text on a can. Yeah. That's a lot going on. But it sounds super metal. Anyway, they're using um, El Dorado, Galaxy, Mosaic, and... Simcoe. Simcoe, okay. So let's get an aggressive pour going on. Oh, I can already smell like pineapple hanging out here. Um. See what this one's all about. Yeah, hazy straw color here. Look at that. It's like super like <laughs> Jesus. cloudy. That's crazy. I can't see the other I end. see little bitties of hot particles floating, floating around in there. It smells like tropical fruits. Pineapple, guava. Oddly, there's no citra in here. Well, there might be. We don't know what the other two That's hops true. are. It smells a little bit like cashmere. I could be totally wrong. I don't know. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. That's juicy. Only 6%. That's pretty good. How'd they do that? That's got oh, tons of body. But every beer should be this good. Every beer should be I just like them. this. Man, y'all know how to make an IPA for real, dude. It's super juicy. You're getting those notes of guava and tropical fruits. There's this sort of bitter back note going on. It's not too much though, it's just enough. It almost tastes like I'm drinking juice. Yeah. It's It reminds me of a Vail IPA. Yeah, it does actually. Like a lighter Vail IPA? Yeah. That truly is what this tastes like. Why don't you guys distribute to our area? This is really good. I am into the artwork, I'm into the brand. I really like you guys' stuff. This IPA is good. That's all we really need to know. Well, thanks so much guys for tuning in, watching the video. You know what to do. Till next time, cheers.